we are at Chops Steakhouse. It is the Steakhouse Award. All Royal Caribbean. We love Steakhouse. Yes, yeah, so come on and get chopped with us. Oh, getting chopped. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Central Park interior is that it is one floor away from all the dining experiences. This way, right? To the left. So you literally just take the stairs. This is a big ship, so the elevators do stay somewhat and busy. As you guys can see, Central Park. Central Park. Just a quick walk away. Straight to the door, girl. Almost walked the wrong way. You can tell I don't know where I'm going. All right, guys. So Chops is located on eight in the central park and the central the central park is is, is really really just beautiful and um shops couldn't be located in a more scenic set the tone kind of location right yes it's beautiful sexy out here perfectly situated it's a date it's night really nice in it's the a, park it's a date night at the restaurant but our kids are here but it's a Don't date night oh man okay Didn't know, i thought the kids camp was open <laughs> They'll be there later. All right, okay. let, let them eat a little steak. So this is, this is really nice, and we are going to go inside and enjoy, and we want you guys to get your snack, because you're about to be hungry while you're watching us eat. And come inside. Oh, so you, you have, have it on your phone, or you want to get you like a physical menu? No, on the phone is fine. The, uh, one bread is fine. I want your belly full of bread. <laughs> Thank oh. you. I want you. No, no, you get the bread back that you already touched. But take the same bread back. Thank you. Since you don't out here touching the bread. What? <laughs> what you this? You want some butter? So, Rain, being an expert on in the bread field, what do you think? Over? It's kind of good. Oh, over. It's like a medium. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It, it, is a, it is the best. It is the best bread, or is it like okay? It just needs like more of the, like the thing inside the bread. Oh, no, okay. I got you. Like, 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 I, I think the right, thing right here is the best bread. Okay, thanks for sharing. Alright guys, so first things first, let's talk about the ambiance. The it's, it's a, very, a beauty. It's a be it's a very large steakhouse for a cruise ship. It actually is really a good size, um, and it it has the steakhouse vibes. The decor is steakhouse vibes, right? All day. The wood paneling. Yeah, I like it. The leather seat. Why do you keep hiding your mouth? Because I want. We want to see the mouth work. Richard. Oh, sorry. So yeah, the wood paneling, guys. It's yeah. it's very steakhouse. I'm feeling it. All right, so guys, the first thing that we're gonna get into is what really matters. What does it cost to eat in here, right? It's a specialty restaurant. If you do not have the dining package and you're paying for this alone, a la carte, a la carte, the price is fifty something dollars plus taxes and gratuity. So, um, with the gratuities, so what you come up to sixty-seven something, right? So let's call it $67, $68 for an adult. Now, we cruise with children. I have a six-year-old, I have a four-year-old. Five years and under are free. Free, yes. And six to 12 or 11? 11 or 12? A, I think it's to 12. Is their reduced rate, it's like $10 and something for them to eat. And they can order their own meal, and that is the price. So. The price is not the cheapest, right? Um, but we are expecting it, the, everything in here to be premium. And if you want premium, you have to pay premium. Right. 
So, so right now we're gonna show you guys the menu, including the kids' menu. Mm -hmm. So just um, we can't do that. I know. We'll I'm just it. saying. <laughs> this is how it. we looked at it. Uh, or it's on the app. Yeah. And you guys tell us in the comments below. What would you order? What would you order? Yeah. Okay. What, what you would you think your kids for? would order? Yeah. Screw <laughs> it. Look all the way at the bottom at the. Um, if you look at the kids' menu. I know Rain all of a sudden, she's a steak eater, so we're going to be ordering steak for her. You know, we are a steak at sea lover, right? And um, <laughs> I was trying to come up with the right title for us. And we don't and always eat. I see a lot of people think that we just eat a steak every week. Literally, oh, no, First no. of all, steak is too expensive in the grocery store. Okay? I, actually, we have not had steak in all, about a month and a half. Yeah. Almost For two months. No, about two months. Yeah. We have right. Had we didn't steak. have steak. Right. We had. I feel like the last time we had steak, it's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. It has. It's sometime in January. But when we go on vacation, we love a steakhouse. We're on vacation, we love a steakhouse. Yeah. We love Italian. There's certain things because steakhouse and Italian is fine dining. And right. when we're on vacation. It's luxury travel out here, okay? So yeah. that's what you're gonna get. You know? And I feel like the reason why people might think you always eat steak is because that's when we have it, we show it on Instagram, we show it on our Facebook, yeah. we show it on YouTube. But we don't show you when we just eat eating a tuna, chicken meal. Tuna out of the can. I don't. I don't vlog that. You know? Do I feed you tuna out the can? No, I make that. I love that. <laughs> I love tuna out the can. He making it seem like I'm, I'm like I, I love tuna that. out the can, but we don't just eat tuna out the can. I wasn't saying that. No, I'm thinking of like you taking a fork and scooping up tuna out the can. No, I make it like. So say making tuna right. salad. She she going on top. Give it a she, little class. Have some she, class. She she getting all insecure, <laughs> guys. She's she's a beast she, in the kitchen. One thing she is not is a secure darling. So all right, so on other cruise lines, right? Thank you. You have the option to um, book on the first night, this is the first night, and you get a free bottle of wine. That is not the case on here. However, on Royal, you are allowed to bring a bottle of wine, 750 mLs, for each adult. So, yeah, just one. No, one for each adult. So, two total. <laughs> so, what we bought yeah. is the we wish Gothic it was two. We Inferno. Yeah. The ribeye, please. Medium, please. What? Yeah, what about this side? You want this side for everyone? Uh, yes. Can I please do the cream spinach, please? Oh. Yeah. Can, yeah, do you guys do like a loaded mashed potato, like with bacon and sour cream and stuff on the on the baked potato? Well, I, I can get the sour cream and I, I can get the bacon and chocolate. Yeah. Just, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, tell them what you want. Can we do that for mashed potatoes? That would be what we share. Please. Yeah. Please. But you don't want baked potatoes. No, we'll do mashed potatoes. Yeah. Because we're going to share it. All right. So what about you? What should I get out? Okay, I will do the grilled uh, black pepper bacon. Mm -hmm. And the beef carpaccio. And for the steak, I will do the prime bone and ribeye. Medium. No, I think they're good. That's it? Yeah. Can, can the girls have the french fries, please? Yes, please, just in case. Yes, thank, thank you, you, thank so you. Much. Guys, so if you if you notice that my accent was slightly different, right? Our waiter is from Trinidad. So yeah, my accent was like he's, no, wait, first of all, that's how you normally talk. The that's way how he's I, talking right now. That's how I normally talk. This is all a fraud, right? This is my YouTube voice. It's very How about the lady when <laughs> wait, the lady when we were checking in, she said where you she saw our last name. She said, where are you, what island are you from? And I said, my husband is from Trinidad. And she said, so Richard came over, she said, so she said, oh, you're from Trinidad? And then she said, why are you hiding your... <laughs> she said, yeah, she said, why are you hiding your accent? <laughs> she, she pressed me, but... Yeah, she sure did. So, a waiter, he's, he's Trini, and he's straight up Trini accent. He's so cool. And he told us, when you look at the menu, he'll take care of you. So... We order whatever we need to order on the menu, he'll take care of you. Know and he said, we family. So, with that said, when I speak to pretty people, 
I speak with a Trini accent, right? I think when you speak to any Caribbean person. Yeah, once I speak to Caribbean people, I speak to them with, with a Trini accent. Because I'm Caribbean. So, when I speak to Americans, I speak American. Who's watching this? Oh, well, Trinidadians, yeah, Caribbean, and okay, everybody's watching this. So, I, I had Comment to choose Comment below one. if you want to hear Rich speak more in a Trini, in his actual voice. Okay, when he has the cameras off and he's in the house yeah. and the way he speaks because he speaks to the girls in his Trini accent. I intentionally speak to my children with a Trini accent because I want them to not necessarily speak Trini, but at least they will understand a Trini. Because if you can understand a fast or broken English, you will understand many accents. Like if I'm in a room with Africans and they, they, they think they're speaking fast and broken English, I always know what they're saying. I've had Africans say to me, how did you know what I was saying? Because you're speaking broken English. So that's how, you know, so it's a I, I skill I want them to learn. I think people love an accent and Richard is refusing to do it. This is like just, This is what's holding us back this is on what's YouTube. Holding us back. What? People love people love an accent. So say no more. From now on I have accent. Okay, go ahead to continue on through the rest of the vlog. Well, that is what I speak in then. So guys, our wait is from Trinidad. Oh, I went back. Oh, damn. All right, I got to work one. I got to work one. You feel like you're put on the spot. Yeah, it's too much pressure. I can't handle it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Oh, I'll be back, guys. I got to get my life together. Bring your lips. All right, guys. So this is the appetizer. The beef carpaccio. Why are you always... I can see you from the side. Richard, I didn't Making your faces. I, you always... You always got a problem. I'm making the face that people at home is sitting there making a face at, y'all. They saying it they looks good. You in your bed right now saying, mm -mm, it, look real, it looks really that good. That looks like some raw salami. Am I, I don't like first it. of all, it looks like four slices of salami on a plate, okay? With some, some, some little accoutrements on See top. See what I'm saying, guys? Sometimes a hater comes in the form of a wife. Now, let me tell you. I have a crab cake, and I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this crab cake don't look like it's crab cake in. It don't. It does not look like a lump crab cake. It actually looks like it's a minced uh, crab meat crab cake. They say that it's lump. I can look at it right now and can tell it's not lump. Mm. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for having a bib here. I was showing the girls how to put it on. <laughs> you need to put it back on? Uh, no, I missed the later person. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I had this in my chest. It's okay. So, I'm gonna try it on camera. Okay, because uh, y'all know how I do. And we're gonna see. This is not lump. This not is not lump. lump. It's not lump. Okay? What is it? This is like minced crab, okay? A lump crab cake. A real, first of all, my family's from Maryland. My ancestors and all. Yeah, ancestors though? <laughs> but go ahead. But Finish the store. <laughs> I know what a lump crab cake is, and this is not it. But let me eat it. Let me see what it tastes like. All right, it might be good. While you're talking all that trash. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's it tastes how I look. Oh, Don't. say it. Just say it. It's a no for me. Oh. Damn, guys. It's okay. Oh. I mean, I'm gonna eat it, but it's a no for me. It's not a lump. It's not giving what it's supposed to get. Oh man. And Miss Rain, what do you have? Is it good? And Miss Royce, what do you got? Is it good? <laughs> it's a no for her. Well, boohoo. Royce don't like mushroom guys, but it's only mushroom soup tonight. So. Tough luck, kid. I what? think she doesn't like mushrooms. That's what I said. Thank you, though. Let's look at the man in the salami. Salami? This is beef papaccio. Has some class. Not so class. You're right. You're right. Got you there, didn't I? You did. You did. Got, got you there, didn't I? I want to eat it. That was legit. What's your finger? What's your finger? Now this is legit though. What's it giving? It's giving rare steak. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. It's good. If you get the little, so they got the sauce and oil, 
around the side. It's a little blurry. Hold on, let me focus. It's the lighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, it's it's really tasty. Is it a giving up? It's it's a bit on the rare side. It's as rare as it gets, but no, this is good. This is better. Better than the bone marrow? Better than the other cruise line one. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it is it better than that? What, what, what? Guys, I don't forgot. Come on, comment down below. What is it? You gonna try it? No, no. What is it? You get the bone marrow and the beef tartare. It's the beef tartare for me. That's it. No. This is better than beef tartare. Yeah. Mm. This is pretty good, babe. Y'all, it's almost done. In that matter of guys, in that matter of seconds. In that matter of seconds, no, this beef carpaccio is gone. Did you want some? You eating like you ain't eat before. Did you want some? You know what? I'm gonna try it. What? I it's mean, right? yeah. I mean, guys, it's already gone. No, I, I, I left a bite for you. A bite. Let's see, guys. First of all, the smell is not a smelling. <laughs> what? It smells perfectly normal. You wildin' yo. You It's not good? No, nah, you wildin'. Yo, give me that back. Yeah. Keep it. I'll let you keep it. If I could take it. I don't like to spit things out, but I will. Keep it dusty. You heard what she said. <laughs> Y'all heard what she said. <laughs> Richard, you the family vlog. Guys, do not order that. Do not order that. It's a, it's a hell no for me. Yes, guys, order it. Order it. Do not listen to the Jasmine. My next appetizer is the bacon. I hope that it is better than my my crab cake. And this that, one's good. And that. <laughs> what are you doing? Why do you have to sound like a dog? You're not a dog. I'm not a doggy, but daddy is. <laughs> no. Let's just say. I have a line that you just mentioned, I, and I cannot get it out of my head. Get over yourself. Next scene, please. Next appetizer. All right, guys. So the plate is extremely hot. And I'm going to still show it to you. Even if it burns my hands off. It's pork belly, really. It's pork, a piece belly. Of pork belly. It's bacon, but we are from New York City, and um, you know, they we go to Peter Luger's, and they had the pork, the, the the bacon there. That's basically a piece of pork, and it is the best. We we dream about it every other night. So, oh, Richard, you talking? I'm getting ready. Everybody at home is telling, saying, "Well, taste it. Tell us how it tastes." Yeah, so basically what I was saying all that to say is we're looking forward to this. What's it giving? It's giving a nice tender pork chop. Oh, this is not bacon. It's, it's literally a piece of... It's literally this a piece is pork of belly, for real. Yeah. We thought this was going to be more bacon. It's on the menu as bacon. It should be pork belly. Yeah. Because... This is not bacon. I will say, Peter Lucas... It is bacon. Bacon. This is and a Peter Lucas, if you're looking to compare, Peter Lucas tastes like ham. Right? Right. A slice of ham, bacon. This tastes like a pork belly. A pork belly. Right. Which tastes like which is you good. had a piece of uh, boneless pork chop, which is sliced in a long strip. Mm -hmm. Think pork chop, but a little strip with some nice barbecue sauce and some peppercorn on top. And it's giving. It's good, It's guys. delicious, though. It is delicious. I recommend this appetizer. This is the appetizer to get. Yeah, if you're gonna get an appetizer, this the is The other it. ones, I yeah. don't recommend. Okay, and rain steak is here. Right, ladies and gentlemen, for a kid's steak, you get a nice, like, eight to 10 ounce uh, New York strip steak for kids. So I'm just cutting up her steak for her. Oh man, wait a oh. minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dang. It look good. Oh man, go hot or go home. You heard him? 
Sheesh. Nah. Yo. I need you to cut up orange chicken, but this this ribeye look it, it is ribeye. It's ribeye. Oh man, we gonna get into it. All right, all right. All right. First of all, let's talk about the plating. Let's talk about the the the, the plate itself. You know. Presentation. Presentation. With like the it. rosemary and the piece of garlic. Garlic. I like that. No more friends. What? what? I, I want to Call yourself a steak host. <laughs> How you had horseradish in the buffet? <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, in the in, in the buffet. I had it early in the All right. buffet. But listen, for sailing, we let it go. Okay, let's see. Let's see your your accoutrements that you had yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we. <laughs> the bernays, the peppercorn. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> listen, guys. So when that happens, right? What? You have to understand when you yes. go on an inaugural. A, a lady's purse never goes on the floor. When you go on an inaugural sailing, some stuff is not going to be there. And I will, I, I, for instance, our beds in this cruise doesn't have bed skirts. Did you know that? Oh right, I can see straight under they the bed. They sent a letter to apologize. There's no bed skirt. What is Bernays like butter? It's, it, it's a cream sauce. Yeah, very creamy. We'll yeah. skip that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the red wine or the peppercorn? Red wine and peppercorn. Give it both. <laughs> Put it on the stick on the side. All right. Yeah, yeah. Around on the plate. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Dress it up. Make it nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's the red wine. It's the peppercorn. Wait, which one is which? This one is supposed to be peppercorn. It's it lighter brown. Okay, okay. okay. It, Thank you. It, it should have little corns in it, but. Anyway, oh, okay. <laughs> right, which one you like? Red wine. Red wine. All right, hit me with some red wine then. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just not it. Oh. We do have sides. Can you see them? Yeah. Hey, you got a fries. We have. Um, hey, you get no fries. We have cream spinach. We have mashed potatoes. Oh wow. We girls have french fries. <laughs> Alright guys, so the mashed potato. It's good. It's hot. I'm about to oh, say I good. saw a lot of steam. Oh, it's real tasty though. Ooh. They're all hot. Very hot. Listen. Hot and fresh. Oh, it's hot. It, they they did not delay bringing this out from the kitchen. Ooh. I like that. Ooh. The cream sauce from the mm, is real hot. She's not dramatic at all. Guys. No, don't look at the steam. It's mm -hmm. not hot. Yeah, she's not dramatic. Mm -hmm. Can y'all see the steam? Y'all see the steam. Can y'all see the drama? Okay. Excuse me, it's mommy. <laughs> Did you just call her Jan? <laughs> okay. Okay. You're pretty good. Yeah, you good. But when is the sixty-eight dollars good? What? I was gonna say. Hmm. It's not better than Fahrenheit five 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 for me. Yeah. And here's the thing: I'm not loyal to no cruise line. No. Cause ain't nobody paying me. Mm -hmm. It's not better than Carnival Steakhouse. If you appreciate a rich and jazzy life. If you truly appreciate our food reviews. So, here's what I could give you guys. The steak itself is cooked perfectly. It is. So the meat is perfection. Seasoning it's is lacking. far from perfection. The steak needs to be seasoned. And to be honest, it just needs a little salt, if anything. At least to start. 
Um, yes, you have the sauces. You make it cool. The sauces make it better. And it is not bad in any means. It's, it's not bad. I'm not saying it's bad. But is it something to write home to your mama about? But what? But to listen, Battle of the Cruise Lines, Carnival, blow them out the water. Carnival. Carnival blow. Sixty. Eight dollars or thirty-eight dollars. Thirty-eight dollars on Carnival blows out the water. And you get a free bottle of wine on the first night. Mm -hmm. Dessert time, and Miss Rain got a ice cream sundae. Yeah, it's vanilla sundae. Vanilla. That looks very good, Rain. Okay, enjoy, Miss Rain. Hold on, I'm gonna tell you how to cake. Yeah, tell us, tell us. We want to know, Rain. Does it taste like ice cream? She says it's a thumbs up. Uh, you want some? Yeah, of course I do. Okay. Grab some. Mmm. Mm. That is good ice cream. 